What's up guys, this is iTechSpot here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install an Android theme on your jailbroken iOS 10 devices. So let's get started. So the first tweak we have here is called Better 5 Icon Dock. And basically what this tweak does is that it gives you the 5 icons on your dock right here. So once you guys have set up Better 5 Icon Dock, you guys want to set up your springboard to have a 3x4 grid. So we're going to have 3 icons down and 4 icons across. So once you guys have your device set up just like this, what you guys want to do is head onto your settings and you guys want to go into the Boxy3 settings. So you guys want to make sure you install Boxy3 onto your device. Once you guys have installed Boxy3, you guys want to hit the enable button and you guys want to go into general configuration. So we're going to check the square icons right here and then we're going to go back and we're going to enable the quick settings right here. You guys could set up your device to have the 4x3 layout right here. So once you guys have enabled the settings right here, you're going to click on apply changes. It will respring your device. Alright guys, so my device has resprung. Your device will not look like this. So what you guys want to do is basically swipe up anywhere on your springboard. You guys want to copy all these numbers right here. And you guys will end up with a layout just like this. So once you guys have your layout set up, you guys want to install Anemone. And now along with Anemone, you guys want to install Marshmallow iOS 10. So once you guys have installed those two tweaks, you guys want to open up Anemone. So I'm going to open it up right here. Alright, so with Anemone, I have selected the Blurred Dock effect here. Now we're going to scroll down and enable the Marshmallow iOS 10 tweak right here. So we're going to uncheck the Badge 2, Clear Dock, Modern Dock, Dock Leaves, and also Dock. Now you guys could configure it to your liking, so you guys could choose any of these options right here. Once you guys have configured your settings right here, you're going to tap on Preview. Now it's going to show you a preview of what your device will look like. Now you guys want to tap on apply and this will respring your device. Alright guys, so it has brought me to safe mode. So I'm just going to tap on restart and it should bring me back to my springboard. Alright, so I'm just going to input my touch ID right here. Now as you guys can see here, the theme is already applied to my device. Next up, we're going to change the folder icon right here. So in order to change this, we're going to use a tweak called NuGat folder. So we're just going to install this and I'll be right back once my device has resprung. Alright guys, so my device has resprung and as you guys can see here, my device has the rounded folders here. Now in order to have this clear background right here, I'm using no folder background and that will give you this cool effect for your folders. So now we're going to install the widgets. So in order to have widgets on your device, you guys want to install iWidgets. Now along with iWidgets, I'm going to be using Pixel Launcher which you guys could get in Cydia. So once you guys have the two tweaks installed on your device, you guys want to tap and hold on the empty spot of your device. Now you guys want to scroll down until you guys find Pixel Launcher and you guys want to select the one for your device. So I'm going to select the iPhone 6 right here and I'm just going to tap on add right there. So here it is the Pixel Launcher right here. Now you guys want to keep adding it to the amount of pages you have on your device. Now for the second page, I'm going to tap on hold right here. I'm going to select the Pixel Launcher right here. Now I'm going to tap on floating pill. And we're going to tap on add. Now this will make the Google icon look like a circle. Alright guys, so I have applied it to all of the pages of my device. So it should look just like this. And now we're going to add the animation when scrolling from page to page. So in order to have the scrolling effect just like this, you guys want to install Cylinder onto your device. And once you guys have installed Cylinder on your device, you guys want to head into the effects menu. You guys want to scroll down and check the cube outside option right here. You guys will be given the animation of the cube when scrolling along your pages. Alright guys, so now we are done with the springboard. So what you want to do is set up the status bar up here. So in order to move all of this to the right side of our display, what you guys want to do is install a tweak called Movable 9. And once you guys have installed it, you guys want to head onto the settings menu of Movable 9. Of course, you guys want to tap on the enable button and you guys want to set the order to this. So in the center, we're going to have the time. And on the right, you guys want to configure it to these right here. And you guys want to hide the carrier and battery percentage. Now you guys could keep everything to its default. So it should look like this. And for the right side of the display, you guys want to have all of this configured right here. Now along with Movable 9, I'm going to use another tweak called Arial. And this will basically give color to the icons right here. So you guys of course want to enable it on the springboard. And you guys could pause the video so you guys could customize it just like mine right here. 
So once you guys have selected the colors, you guys want to tap on the respring button. It will respring your device. All right, guys. So here is my status bar right here. It should look just like this once you guys have configured it with both movable nine and aerial. So now we're going to change the cellular icon right here. So it doesn't look like a bunch of dots right there. So we're going to install a tweak called Android Solid. And this tweak could be enabled through Anemone. So once you guys have installed Android Solid, you guys will see it inside of Anemone right here. You guys want to tap on it right there. And now we're just going to tap on the cell icon right there and the cell condense right there. So now we're going to tap on preview. We're going to tap on apply and this will respring your device once again. All right guys, so my device has respring and as you guys can see here, the cellular logo is now like an Android logo right there. Now the last tweak we have for the status bar is called lithium ion. Now basically what this tweak does is that it'll change the battery icon right here. So once you guys have installed this tweak, you guys wanna head into its settings right here and you guys wanna head into themes and the theme I'm using is called ion LBI. And you guys could configure the color through the color options right here. And you guys could also use other options right here. So now we're going to change the volume HUD of our device. So the tweaks I'm using is Sonus and Pulse HUD. And these two tweaks will basically change the way you change your volume. So once you click on the volume buttons, you guys will see that the volume HUD is different up here. And also when you guys change the volume, you guys will see a pulse in the middle of your display. Now you guys could configure this in the settings. So we're going to head into settings right here. We're going to tap on to Sonus and you guys could change the appearance, size and position, animation and you guys could also change the theme of the bar. And you guys could also configure the pulse HUD. What I have selected is the red to green dynamic pulse color. All right guys, so the last tweak we have here for the springboard is called round screen corners. And basically this will give your device a round corner on all four corners of your device and you guys could configure this in these settings right here i have a radius set to 20.4 and i have all the options right here enabled all right guys so now we are finished with the springboard so now we're going to work on our lock screen so in our lock screen what you guys want to do is install the lock html4 this will basically give you a theme on your lock screen so the theme i'm using is called supreme easy and you guys get this through another tweak called free iWidget app. So in order to get this tweak, you guys will have to install it through Cydia. You guys will have another app onto your device and it will look exactly like this. And you guys could head onto creators and you guys could basically look for the theme you guys want for your lock screen. And once again, the theme I'm using is called Supreme Easy from the free iWidget app. All right guys, so the last tweak I have here is called Lock Glyph X. And this will basically give you a fingerprint scanner right here, just like the Apple Pay icon on your device. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Feel free to comment down below if you run into any problems. Also, don't forget to like and share this video since it helps out the channel so much. And feel free to subscribe since we'll be posting videos every single week. Anyways guys, this is iTechSpot and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace!